Section 3. In this section, I will show you how to model the repository and create different business intelligence analysis. When working on a project using Oracle Business Intelligence, the single most important thing that you need to get right is the Oracle BI Server Repository, or Repository, or for short, you can call it the RPD. The repository defines the data that your users work with, its relationship to your various data sources, and the calculations and analysis that your users cannot produce. A well-designed repository reflects the way that users think about their data and the organization of your company and makes it easy for them to quickly find the information they are looking for. In contrast, a poorly constructed repository will not make sense to users, will not accurately reflect the way you do business, and will actively work against your users rather than help them find the numbers that they need. This section is probably the most important one in the whole course of Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition 11G. And I would recommend that you understand it before progressing to all these other sections that I will show you uh, going forward. It, th in this section, I will outline the basics of the repository, explain how you, you, you can design it, and then take you through a number of scenarios that illustrate different aspects of repository modeling. As we progress through the different scenarios, I will explain some of the most complex topics as we go along, explaining why we need to make use of more advanced features, and in the process, hopefully show you some of the remarkable capabilities of the Oracle Business Intelligence Repository, and the Oracle BI server that is used with it. To start with though, Let's first take a look at some of the slides that I've prepared. In this section, I will show you how to build the repository using the BI Administration tool. I will also show you how to connect to the Oracle database, build the physical, business model and mapping, and the presentation layers. In lesson 16, I will show you how to build the physical layer of the repository, and followed by lesson 17, building the business model and mapping layer of a repository. Lesson 18, building the presentation layer of a repository. Lesson 19, testing and validating a repository. Lesson 20, managing logical table sources. Lesson 21, creating calculation measures. Lesson 22, creating logical dimensions with level-based hierarchies. At lesson 23, creating level-based measures. Lesson 24, creating logical dimensions with parent-child hierarchies. And lesson 25, we'll be creating logical dimensions with rugged and skipped level hierarchies. And lesson 26, we'll be using aggregates. And lesson 27, we'll be using initialization blocks and variables. And lesson 28, we'll be creating time series measures. Now, what is the Oracle Business Intelligence Repository, you may be wondering. The Oracle Business Intelligence Repository is a metadata store that holds the logical dimension models that users work with when creating their analysis and reports. The repository represents itself to users as one or more subject areas made up of tables, columns, and hierarchies, which are then mapped internally within the repository to the underlying data sources that provide data for your reports. The repository is primarily used by the Oracle BI server, which uses it to translate incoming logical SQL requests into physical SQL, MDX, and other queries against underlying data sources. The Oracle BI repository is used alongside another metadata store within Oracle Business Intelligence, and that is the Oracle BI Presentation Server Catalog. The Oracle BI Presentation Server Catalog, or Catalog if you like, for short, contains definitions of analysis, dashboards, agents, conditions, scorecards, and other BI objects that users create in order to analyze their data. An Oracle Business Intelligence System can be thought of as containing three layers of data and metadata. The Oracle 
That is the Oracle Business Presentation Server Catalog containing the report definitions. Then we have the Oracle Business Intelligence Server Cat Repository containing the logical dimension model used to populate the reports. And the underlying databases, OLAP cubes, and other data sources that actually contain the data. The main user of metadata from the Oracle BI repository is the Oracle BI Answers, the analysis editor and ad hoc query component within the Oracle Business Intelligence web website. Other users of this metadata include the Oracle BI Publisher, which allows report developers to create reports using data from the repository and third-party reporting tools which can work with the repository through the Oracle BI ODBC client. So before we get into the details of how you model the Oracle Business Intelligence repository, let's take some time to look into the makeup of the repository in more detail. We'll start by looking at the three layers that make up the repository, what those layers contain, and what they are used for and what other information is held in the repository. Taking a step back for a moment, we'll look at some of the concepts around the dimensional model on which much of the repository is based, and then we'll take a look at various strategies you can use to create an effective repos repository. The three-layer repository architecture. The Oracle Business Intelligence Repository is made up of three layers of metadata which build on each other to create a semantic model that describes in business terminology the data coming from your source databases. The physical layer. This layer describes the physical databases, schemas, tables, columns, joins, and keys that make up your relational data stores, and similar metadata for online analytical processing and other non-relational sources. The business model and mapping layer. The business model and mapping layer contains definitions of one or more business models made up of logical tables, columns, and dimensions together with tables, table sources that contain mappings among the logical objects in the business model and physical objects in the physical layer. The presentation layer. This layer contains one or more subject areas made up of presentation tables, columns, hierarchies, and folders. The screenshot here shows the three layers of the repository. The physical layer is on the rightmost side with the business model and mapping layer in the middle and the presentation layer on the far left side. This concludes the, the introduction and outline of uh, section three of uh, this course, and uh, we will be ready to get into the details of how to create uh, populate data in the Business Intelligence Administration too. And I look forward to showing you all the different steps and techniques of how to do that.